Recently, she focused her attention on standing up notice of coverage for our client. She created a repeatable process to deliver a predictable client experience and led the huge effort in getting our first clients live. She has since worked with compliance, account management, and implementation to bring other clients live. Not satisfied with that, April created a project plan to bring on the rest of our full service clients. Thanks, April. So my name is Mike Vandendo. I'm an ACSC in Small Business Services. My process idea was for uh, working with the amount of time it takes for our clients to receive tax report. Current process, they are told it will take three to five business days to get that report delivered back to them. We can do better than that. Three to five business days for a business owner is a long time. So why, you ask? So, in my time working with someone from the tax file, she let me kind of sit there, she shared her screen with me to see what she had to go through to pull the reports. She was looking for a 940 report, it was over an hour and we still had that. Why does RUN only have the capacity to hold three years? Why are there only 2014, 13, and 12 reports available to us? Can we get information to include up to five years on the reports? So, you know, if, the, if the five years are there, the client can pull it themselves. So they don't have to call in at all. It eliminates the call altogether. All right, everyone. Uh, my name is Jay. Uh, Josh, I'm with uh, Major Account HR Benefits. But uh, right away, I knew what I wanted to focus on, and that was the new hire onboarding process. Um, just because I wasn't, as a new hire, very pleased with the structure of it, so I kind of wanted to focus on that. So I created the four-step process that we're that we're actually utilizing now, and the first step is. Show. So the show part, which is the first step, is kind of taken care of by our training that our new hires get. Um, they're being presented with a lot of information, so they're being shown the information. Second step is explain, and that's where the peer mentors explain the information that they're being shown during their training so that they can better understand it. Third step is going to be confirm. So the peer mentors are confirming that they are not only being shown the information throughout their training, but they also explain it. So that way we know for 100% certainty that our new hires are understanding the information so that whenever the time comes for them to apply this information that they're being taught, that they fully understand it and they can explain it to our clients as well. But uh, the last step is follow up because they may have explained it or they may have understood it whenever it was explained to them right then and there, but a month down the road they might not necessarily still understand it. So we want to follow up with our new hires to make sure, hey, just want to follow up with you, check in with you, make sure everything's still going good, make sure you still understand the material that was explained to you, and whenever we confirmed it, that you understood it as well.